First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. In studio right now is Sheriff Rob Manchel. Sheriff, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. I um, I want to ask you right off the bat, and I think let's get it out there. Let's get it out in the open. Absolutely. Are you running for Congress? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> 100% rumor. Oh, you didn't skip a beat. No. No. Uh, My you, phone has been uh, literally... That is the, how did that begin? How did that rumor there start? There is a huge rumor out there that he's running against Claudia Tenney. Absolutely not. Yeah. No, I, I couldn't am, see uh, it. I, I'm honored to be the sheriff. If you talk to anybody that started their police career when I started mine, I told them my dream job, and if, if everything goes well in my life, is to someday be the sheriff of Oneida County. I've reached that goal. Um, hopefully I'm here for a little while. Yeah. I have an, a tremendous family. I have a, a really nice farm that we're building at home. Uh, in my, Which you, by the way, are the sheriff on that property. That is true. <laughs> Well, well, well actually, today's my wife's birthday, though. So, uh, okay. Oh, happy, right. happy birthday, Mrs. Mayshield. And Mrs. Mayshield. Chief so. of, or uh, sheriff of the farm. That's she right. really oversees <laughs> the sheriff. Uh, She's the uh, sheriff yes. of the farm. <laughs> She's the governor of the farm. I there think. you go. <laughs> yeah. That is a rumor, though. 100%. All right. Nothing could be. I, I just couldn't more see, untrue. knowing you and. Seeing the, the the incredible joy that you get out of out of getting up early in the morning and tending to the animals in the farm, yep. I just couldn't see you. First of all, who would want that job? Right I agree. Now? No. Uh, wow. I, I, no. I, I just uh, I, I want to make an impact where I am. I think we're making a positive impact in the job I'm doing, um, and I have no desire to to abandon. Um, my my job, the the people of Oneida County. Obviously, we're going through a challenging time, and uh, I want to, you know, I, I'm I have no plans to go anywhere. But again, that's up yeah. to the people. So. The other thing you you have an opportunity to do as sheriff is you've done a lot of statewide things. Yes, within the uh, the realm of uh, of the sheriff's and association. That's where I was the past three days, actually yeah. downstate, um, advocating for along with many of my colleagues, advocating for some some things for for law enforcement and for the safety of our community. So I just came back from uh, you, Sullivan County. Were you advocating for logic? Uh, well, every time I try to do that, I, I get you know uh, nasty emails and threats, and yeah. uh, it's a very interesting time that we're living in. But um, uh, you know, I also spoke at an event last night, um, which kind of brings us into why I'm here today. Yeah. But I spoke at an event at Cooperative Extension last night, and and uh, to a crowd with some other uh, local electeds, and you know, just talking about we, we've got to come up with a way to to like be nice to one another. We can yeah. disagree, we can agree to disagree, but we can't get nasty. Um, you know, we, we are so polarized right now. We've we've the work gets done in the middle, as you know, sitting at this table. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. get work. The work doesn't get done on the left or the right. It gets done in the middle, and uh, you know we've we've got an obligation to help people when they're in need. Um, you know, it's just it's. Do you, do you, so there are a lot of people out there. We're going to talk about the the event that is currently underway. By the way, that is correct. The uh, the uh, the silent part of the auction yes. is underway right now, and this and I want to talk about the organization because it's a it fits exactly in the in the arena that we're talking about but you know you have there are people that are trying to change the laws in new york state whether it be bail reform uh disclosure all of these other things um you know you you can't you you can't put somebody in jail anymore it seems but there's a I, i think the important part is these are people that may think their their intentions are good I think that everyone's intentions are good. It's not like they're trying to destroy the world. Um, they're trying, they feel like they're making it better. And I'm sure in their lives, in their community, in their city, something has happened that has inspired them to say, hey, this isn't fair. We need to change things. I, I think, though, that we have an attitude today where if someone goes down that road that I don't agree with, they're trying to destroy America. Exactly. They hate the country. They hate us. I am their enemy. And I think that's what is different about politics today, I think. What are, and, what are your and thoughts? I, I totally agree with you, you know, and, and, and I just feel so bad because, you know, the, 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 the major cities across the country, and not just here in New York, but across the country, but where they're dealing with the, the violent crime and the, and the shootings and the murders and the homicides and those are the people, the good people that live in those neighborhoods are the ones we're supposed to be helping. And all right. the things we're doing are hurting those neighborhoods even more. I know. You know, and a lot yeah. of the people that are pushing for this drastic change aren't the ones being affected by all this violent right. crime. And right. I think that's the frustrating part for us. Yeah. The people who come in and criticize us and and they go back home to their gated communities yeah. at the end of the day. They're yeah. not living in where, where the people are living. Totally in misguided. Yeah. Yeah. Know? 
But Somewhere we'll find some common ground, I, I truly believe. All right, let's talk about this. Uh, this event that's happening next Thursday night, but the silent auction is underway yes. uh, for the organization, American Sheriff's uh, Law Enforcement Foundation, which kind of is trying to mend the, the divide. Exactly. That we have Our right foundation now. has been around actually for uh, since since 2012, okay. uh, although very small up until, you know, the past few years. But our goal is to is to basically, um, you know, make that connection with the community between community and law yeah. enforcement um, to bridge the community with law enforcement, to put a face to the badge, um, you know, to make a positive impact on the community, um, you know, and also to, to not forget that the people in law enforcement are the ones who are putting their lives on the line each and every day. So, um, this is a unique way to to do some fundraising. Um, we've got a tremendous board of directors. I mean, awesome uh, on the on the law enforcement foundation. Obviously, uh, John and Jackie Romano. A board um, that you can't say no to. Uh, this is true. I'm not going <laughs> to say no to to Jackie. No, no, no. Um, you know, Rob Esch, Bill Borel. Um, yeah. You know, Mike Parsons. We got a tremendous board of directors, and uh, basically, you know, we're we're doing all we can to to uh, to make a positive impact on the community. And this silent auction it kicked off at five o'clock yesterday mm-hmm. um, so you can go to the, the sheriff's law enforcement foundation website oclef just like it sounds united county sheriff's law enforcement foundation.com you can sign up uh, for the silent auction you can look at the prizes they range from trips to uh you know uh, uh jewelry uh some some really exciting wine packages a lot of sports memorabilia there's um, no shortage of high quality high quality awesome stuff. stuff and you almost always end up Getting a great deal when you when you Absolutely. get into these auctions, and I think the highlight of all the prizes is the dinner with the sheriff. I think it is. So yes, I, I think it is most think valuable. Certainly, certainly. Probably, more than likely. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, um, just a great opportunity. So we encourage everybody uh, because there are some some packages that you know for someone who just wants to dabble a little bit. Um, you know, there's some smaller packages yeah. too, but there's some really amazing ones. And uh, all this money, like I said, it goes goes to to the foundation. It's a 501c3. Um, you know, and we we do a few things. We do a, a whole bunch of scholarships. For for kids, we help uh, sick kids in the community, kids with cancer. Uh, we help our, our other groups that are helping sick kids. Um, you know, obviously our community bridge event. The last one we did, we brought in over 800 yeah, students yeah. from the Utica district to introduce them to law enforcement, and then of course, you know, raising some funds to to support the fallen heroes of Central New York. So just a great, great cause and a great event, and we hope that uh, everyone can uh, be part of it. And we really look forward to next Thursday with uh, with you at the. House. I'm uh, I'm the auctioneer in this Absolutely. thing. Absolutely crazy. Here about it. Here about it. Here about out 2035. <laughs> I really don't know how to do that. Oh, you you noticed? Uh, O-C-S-L-E-F dot com. Yes. All right. Good stuff. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Uh, Sheriff Rob Machel. Great program. And uh, just, you can go to that website now and check out some of these event these uh, these uh, prizes or auction items, if you will, that are out there. Really something to uh, to check out.